Hey guys, Grassman here. Playing more Raid Shadow Legends, and today we're gonna get the legendary guy. So if we go here, we're at 90 of 100, so I only need 10 more. I could get 5 from the spider. So the only way I can get things is I can get 5 from the spider. I could get 10 from champion training, but I can't because it's too expensive. Or I could get 10 from the fragment summons. So the only thing I can do pretty much is the fragment summons. And then all of a sudden end up getting 5 from being first in the spider. So. Um. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do the champion chase tournament. Hey, copy. We're going to open up a bunch of void shards and then some ancient shards as well. Try and get a bunch of guys. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get like a legendary or a couple of rare epics. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine room here. It's nineteen, and it's one half a million to increase it further. I might just stick some of those in there then. Anyway, so let's just start off with some normal arena battles, and then we're gonna get into something. I think we need two more wins. This one I should kill El the um Elaine it's Elaine, not Elheim. So if I kill Elaine and then kill her revive. I phone lagging already. That healing is so good. More here we can fight.
Okay, for, for this one, it's four guys I don't really recognize. I like that truth here. I don't know what truth here does. Who is that even? I think it just guaranteed makes them make it miss their turn. Oh yes, I was able to select what to do. So maybe they just can't like attack. Maybe if they have a defensive move, they can use it. Madame Cerise, yeah, I think that was a fear. That was one of those that was one of the ones that had an increased chance earlier. Oh, and there was one of the, those other guys there. Meow. Meow. That's it. I'm just gonna stand there. Okay, this one I'm actually I'm not actually gonna win. He's a level 60. Although they, although they don't have a revive. I think they're on a reviver. Now he's gonna heal him and then we lose. Well, we got close-ish. We got two and a half-ish. We could have, if we could have avoided that first heal. This one it says we can beat. I don't know how. Apparently, my power is three k higher. I don't believe that though, unless they're like all not wearing armor and have extremely low health. They are, maybe they are all weak or not armored. Yes, he's dead. Maybe we have a chance then. Ooh, that. Are all my skills on cooldown? Not all of them. All my skills for him are still on cooldown. I want this guy dead. Have attacked the one that would have had a chance of critting. They're also they all have so much health. I don't think they have a way of healing. They they've just got some. Oh, they do have a way of healing him. They're all going before me. If that's what he does. Whatever he does. And then it'll probably be a video later or tomorrow where I play around with him and see what his actual moves are. 
how he works. Okay. So we're starting with 10 void. Let's go. Come on. Okay. A fell hound. All that means 25% chance of decreased speed. Okay. 7.5 continuous heal on all allies for two turns. And reflect damage sometimes. Two. Excuse me. Block damage on all allies. On an ally for one turn. Okay, so he's not bad. He's a sport champion, it seems. I already have a, I already have a confessor. I'll use her upgrade skill. Um, chance of placing an extra hit. 20% chance of repeat, repeating the attack with... Oh, so a 20% chance of placing an extra hit. And a 20% chance of repeating the attack will ignore block damage and shield buffs. Attack enemy has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff. Place 30% increased defense and heal buff on all allies. So you use a defense type, increases defense, okay. Ifrit. Weaken. Decrease attack. Um, in damage increases according to the champion's max HP. Decreases the damage received by 50% from a single hit. Exceeds 30% HP. Okay. Decrease the damage received by 50%. If damage from a single hit exceeds 30% HP, place the 30%. Decrease defense debuff for two turns. On the attacker if the attack's critical. Okay. That's... That's just always. No cooldown. Increase ally HP. Good. Come on, give me an epic. Huntress. 15% chance placing stun. Weaken. Ah, that doesn't seem good. Do the train? Come on. Uh. Paragon. Attack one enemy has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 10%. Damage inflicted is proportional, proportional to defense. Places an unkillable buff and a 25% increased attack buff on a, tally, a, a target ally for two turns. Life shackles attack three times a random each has 30% chance of placing 50% heat reduction, 25%. Attack debuff for two turns. Damage inflicts is proportional to defense, and it becomes 100%, 50%. Okay. Four more, come on, let's get something not rare. Let's get something epic or legendary. There's an epic! Whisperer. Okay. Attack one enemy is 50 cent chance, place 25%. We can debuff for two turns. Uh, that's not meant, that's not meant to hit. Charge assault. Attack one enemy is 50. Places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for one turn before attacking. If the target has higher max HP than the champion, when works defensive, the target is under a weakened debuff. Okay. And it's every four turn, three turns, kind of. Uh, every six or five turns, attack one enemy two times. Grants an extra turn if the target is under decreased defense and weakened debuffs. So places weaken. So I have no way of placing decreased defense, but if I can, and I put a weaken on, then it, this one gives an extra turn. Has a 10% chance, so always has a 10% chance of granting an extra turn whenever this champion lands a critical hit. Increases, increases damage inflicted on bosses by 20%. Okay. N increase ally attack and dungeon by 29%. So, an attack champion with some weaken and, with some weakening and extra turns, okay. Veteran. Decreased attack. Increasing crit rate on increased crit rate on all chim all allies for three turns. The target is killed. Attack on enemies fifty percent block fifty cent percent chance of placing block buffs debuff for one turn. Damage increases according to the champion ma champion's max HP. Speed, okay. Ooh. 
Ooh. Let me two times. Two times each other's 20% chance of placing a weakened debuff. Attack when we decrease the target's turn mirror by 50, by 100%. When, when three ascended. Okay, come on, one more. Let's get another epic. I want to open as many, or as few ancients as possible. Painkeeper. Two times fills the champion's turn mirror by 10%. Attack on enemies heals the champion by 50% of the champion's max HP. Heals all allies 50% of the champion's max HP. And the heal becomes... Um, so it's 15%, but it increases to 25... 35... 50% of this champion's max HP. On this turn. Wow. And that's kind of every four turns. Increases ally HP and faction trips by 21%. Decrease the cooldown of all ally skills by one turn. And that's kind of every four turns. So it's pretty good. Let's see how close we are. Just let it load. So we got one epic, and it was a... Um, Really good attacker, and we got that healing person. And we got that dog that seems okay. Okay, champion chase. We should be. We should be pretty close. We need eleven fifty. How many ancients do we have to open? Okay, we're only 100 off. So if we're void, each rare would give us 50. Each rare there only... And each epic gives us 350. So it's 10, 25, or 500. Or 1, 25, and 500. And I need... So if you're counting it like that, I need... 100, I would need 10 points. So... 10 rares or 1 epic or higher. Do I have space? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 9 space. That's good enough. Based on the chances of uh, an 8% chance of an epic, so I have an 8.5% chance of pulling something higher than a rare. So, let's go through them one at a time. It's ten, okay. Uh, Master Butcher, that's just food for my other one. Increase the skill. Don't really care. Crossbowman. Okay, an alchemist, not bad. Oh, here we go. Steel Skulk. Attack one enemy two times. Each has 10% chance of play for 5% poison debuff for two turns. Okay. Heals a target ally by 40%. Remove all debuffs from a target ally and then heals them for, by 40%. Okay. And it'll be 50% every, like, three turns. Um, places a 60%... So it's a support champion. Places a 6% Increased defense buff on on all allies for two turns. Heals all allies by 20% of their max HP. And that would become 30% every four turns. Increased allied defense and faction crypts by 27%. This is the only attacking move. And it's poison. Gonna be not, didn't have to open too much. So it should be all we need. Once this loads, we should be able to get a good guy, and then we'll have some... I have 
whole bunch of like rares I have to look through now. I don't know which of the rares are good or not, so I have to like test and play with them all, see which one's decent. I didn't mean to click on the spider tournament. Champion Chase Tournament. So, we opened 14 crystals, got two epics, got two epics and a whole bunch of rares. Not bad. With a 0.5% chance, we have to open about 200 of those, 100 of those to get a legendary, so it's very unlikely. This is classic Grand Takedown. I'm clicking Champion Chase. There it is. Ten of those, and I think we might be in a high position as well. Second. Which would give us some other good rewards. Actually, if I get... Th I'd prefer third. Because, well, no, second is six-star... Four six star rares. First, well, first, I could consider going for first in this one. I'm only a hundred points behind. It would give me six six star legendary artifacts instead of four six star epics and a legendary skill tome, which is very rare. It's very difficult to get. Maybe I'll look into that. If he doesn't, I have seventeen hours. What time does that put it? It's like 9... It's 9 a.m. No. It's 7 a.m. So if I woke up before 7, and he was still low enough I could take first, I might steal first. And get the good stuff. So here we go. My second legendary. Just support. Stack one enemy has a 25% chance of placing a block cooldown skills debuff for one turn. The chance increases by 0.75% for every 1% of HP this champion loses. So it starts at 35, assuming you're counting the upgrades there, which you probably can't. 25% and... Let's say he's losing, let's say he's lost 50% of HP. So by losing 100% HP, he increases by 75%. So the closer he gets to fully lost his HP, the more likely it is to block cooldown skills. A tag one enemy puts the target's skills, skills on cooldown. If the enemy team has any duplicates of that target champion, duplicates of that target champion will also put their skills on cooldown. Ghost ranged. Attack all enemies has a 75% chance of removing two random buffs. It's a 75% chance of decreasing all enemies' turn meters by 20%. Decreases the enemy turn meter meters by a further 0.2% for every 1% of HP this champion loses. So again, at 100% HP loss, that becomes 20%. So it's not that great. And at Ascension level 3, Surrounded by Death, prevents this champion's death and keeps him alive on 1 HP when I'm hit by a fatal hit. And that's every 6, kind of 5 turns. If the skill prevents this champion's death, if this skill prevents this champion's death, heals them by 10% of their max HP, fills their turn meter by 20%, and also places a shield buff on them equal to 30% of their max HP for 2 turns. Will not prevent this champion's death if they are under a heal reduction debuff. Okay, so. So he's good then. Oh, 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 that's gonna boost us into first. I just realized that's gonna boost us into first. <laughs> oh, this is actually perfect. I just realized that's gonna give us like 500 points and boost us further ahead. Right, because as soon as you summon him, that it's count, it, it's get them by any means, so that's gonna count as more. So we're not going to be able to mess around with him today. But probably later today or no, or tomorrow, I'll make a video where we'll mess around with him and some of the other epics I got. Or some of the other good looking guys I got. So we can get 
this epic skill tome, tomb, tome, whatever. And we were bumped into first by like, and we're winning, yeah, we got 500 points from that, and we're winning by 400. That's, re oh, that's really good. Um, yeah, so we're on track for a legendary skill tomb, which, which would help him out. I would be able to get, I'd be able to increase one of his skills. I don't know if I'd want to, I don't know if he's worth spending the things on. He doesn't seem like one of the best legendaries. But I would get six six-star artif legendary artifacts, which are the best ones you can get. So if I get lucky with them. And those would be my first legend those would be my first six star legendary artifacts. I don't know if I have any four star legendaries. I think I have some six star I think I have some six star epics. And I know I have like three star legendaries. But I don't think I have any I don't think I, I might have a four star legendary as well. Recently used first. So that should mean the newest at the bottom. No, because some of them I haven't used. Okay, well, first I'm going to go to the tavern. Let this guy upgrade skills with you. So, yeah, there's my second legendary. I already got three legendary skill tombs. They're quite rare to have. So I got him, and we'll mess around with him. I got... You. And she's a high damage person. This one. Hang on! And this one. When did I get the basilisk? It's been a while longer than an hour ago. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.